Well, finally, on the news, the grand finale of this year's Arukiju Festival has been held in Ikpetu Ijesha Osho State, and participants used the occasion to request for their needs from the government. With few Hamid reports. <laughs> Arukweju is an annual celebration in Ipetu Ijesha, in Uriade local government area of Osho State. The festival provides opportunity for sons and daughters of the town, both at home and in the diaspora, to come together and discuss on how to bring development to the town. This year's event is unique, not only because of large number of people that were in attendance, but because of the orderliness witnessed throughout the celebration, even with the display by masculines. Participants dressed in different attires. Traditional rulers in Ijesha land, the Areo Nakakamfu, Gani Adams, and the former chief of defense staff, Olushe Petiri, among other eminent personalities, graced the occasion. The event also showcased the kind of relationship that exists among various religious adherents in the town. The Bishop of Ijesha Northeast Anglican Church and the Chief Imam of Ikutu Ijesha led their congregation to the celebration. Of course, as religious leaders, we have come to identify with the people because we work with the people and we live with the people. And of course, we are here to add value to whatever God is doing in the town. This is uh, an avenue that the Muslim, Christian, everybody, all the indigents of this town will come together to celebrate in one voice and one style, culturally, traditionally. Addressing the gathering, the Ajalai of Ipetu Ijesha, Obadeleke Agubiade, who is elated for celebrating his first Arokoju festival on the throne of his forefathers, encouraged his sons and daughters to come home and contribute their quota to the development of the town. I thank God for his mercy over a petty Jesha sons and daughters all over the world. My candid request from them all is to remember their roots. It is time for all of us to join us together and move our father's land to the next level. I want everybody to join with me so that we can work together and move to the next level. The traditional ruler's message was corroborated by Ario Nkakamfu of Yoruba land, Ghani Adams. It's very, very important, highly imperative that you should know your history, you should know your tradition, you should know what you have been doing from immemorial. But you are looking for unity. So you have to fight for the unity in the spiritual realm before it becomes it, it now reflected in physical. A number of chieftaincy titles were bestowed on some sons and daughters of the town. Ipetu Ijesha, being the home of mat weaving, the festival provides a venue for these old women to display what they know how to do best. Obi Som, I have no choice. Obi Som, I have to come because this is where I started. This is where my history started. And no matter what I am as in US, as a professor of telecommunication education, I still have to come back home, you know, and uh, and uh, solidify, sol solidarize with my people. Because today is our day, you know, and besides, this is the first one that our new king is going to do. So, and as one of the stakeholders of the town, I have to come and actually be part of it. The Aro of Ikwetu Ijesha, I Chief Ayodele Olayinka, used the occasion to request for the needs of the town. Our roads are very, very bad. There is no water, no water supply. The, the one given to us by uh, the federal government is not completed. So uh, we don't know what is happening. So we appeal to the federal government to come and complete it so that uh, our people will have pure water to drink. Then uh, our farmers have no farm implements. We want uh, the Ministry of Agri to come to the aid of the, uh, of the farmers. Several displays spiced up the event. <laughs> Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Ipetu Jesha.